Now, 3D TV has been one of the major themes of this year's CES, just like last year. But despite the hype, the barrier to 3D TV has been the heavy and uncomfortable glasses. Now, what's the solution to that? Well, a lot of manufacturers are looking at auto stereoscopic technology. That basically means 3D TV without the glasses. We took a closer look at TVs from LG, Sony and Toshiba. Now, Sony had three glasses-free 3D TVs on show, two LCDs, a 46 and a 56 inch, plus a smaller 24 and a half inch OLED, that's an organic light emitting diode TV. Now, Sony were really tight-lipped on the technology at play here, they wouldn't tell us a thing, but we think it's most probably a lenticular system, similar to what Toshiba are using. Now, what that means is that left and right angled images are sent to each eye by the TV. Now, the problem with it is that off-center, you really lose the effect, so it's a, it has a critical viewing angle. Also stand too close, or too far away, and again, you lose the effect. But, watch from head-on, the effect was still quite impressive. Well, the Toshiba system worked what they call its integral imaging system. Basically, what that means is a special sheet covers the display, controlling emissions of light from the TV, sending angled images to each lie, something they call a parallax view. Now, the effect is impressive with that 3D glass, especially if you've never seen it before. The advantage of the Toshiba is that it will work as a 2D TV, but some of the minor points, apart from the critical viewing angles, the picture actually looked really, really soft. Now, the LG was the most impressive of all three that we saw. It seemed to work on a slightly different system to the Toshiba and the Sony, where they had two layers on the screen of the TV. One optical layer splits the left and right images up, and a film layer merges them back together. Now, just like the Toshiba and Sony, there are critical viewing angles and distances at play here. The LG would only work from 12 to 16 foot away, and only from about 20 centimetres off centre. But if you hit it in that sweet spot, the effect was quite dramatic. Images were sharp, depth was good, and the 3D effect was much bolder than the Toshiba and Sony versions. The main disadvantage of the LG was that it would only work with 3D. Those filters meant that it will not display 2D pictures. But the important thing is, if LG cracked that, then it could be a game changer for 3D TV.